Hi, today I'm going to be talking to you about three different types of coax cable. Um, these cables you see here are all RG6 cables. Um, RG11 is going to be much bigger and RG59 is going to be a little bit thinner. Um, so the first cable we have here is our house cable. It's the kind that runs into the house and I don't know if you can see or not but it's kind of actually bumpy on the edge. Um, the second cable we have here is our underground. It's basically the same thing, but it's actually flooded inside. It has some uh, sticky residue, and I'll show you that as we go along. Um, that's to keep uh, water out and uh, just to help protect the cable itself. Our third cable is our messenger cable, and it has this little uh, uh, wire on the edge here that you use to tie on the poles and uh, things like that. It's uh, mainly for aerial. So uh, let me show you the inside of the first RG6 cable here. And my wire strippers are a little dull, so you'll see that this uh, top jacket didn't come off completely. If you do have dull strippers, just uh, you can pop it off with your fingernails if it doesn't completely come off. Inside this cable, you'll notice that uh, we have our outer jacket here, and in there, after that is our braiding. Past that braiding is a metal shield, and past that shield is our dielectric. dielectric. And you can kind of see how it's made up there. All three of these cables are the same. The only exception. is if you'll notice our underground cable when it comes apart it actually has a sticky residue in there that's what I was talking about about the cable being flooded and like I said that is to protect the cable from the elements And our aerial cable, like I said, has this messenger here. And we can just strip that back. It's a little easier if we use my uh, pliers, or my dikes. But they're actually being, they're propping up the phone. But let me see if I can get it for you guys. And our messenger just pops off like so. And then you can use that messenger to tie off um, onto your J-hooks or your P-hooks on the side of the house. I'm actually going to go in my next video.
and talk to you about how we actually put these compression these right here, these compression uh, fittings onto these wires. And I'll show you that in my next video. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to comment and uh, let me know. Other than that, uh, I'll see you then next time.